Yves de Boer, Executive Secretary of the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change, met with reporters on Thursday to share his views on whether the deadlock could be broken. Well, the, the, the binding action plan, the mandate that, that put us on this road, very clearly distinguishes between the type of commitments and actions to be taken by industrialised and developing countries. I think that that needs to be respected. Um, the United States has indicated that it is willing to accept an international legally binding treaty, providing other countries do as well. Um, and major developing countries feel that that is a violation of, of the Bali Agreement. I think that there could be acceptance here for targets which are captured in targets and actions which are captured in an international agreement, then translated into national law. Uh, I can see an agreement whereby action that receives international financial support would be subject to international verification, so that's action in developing countries. And I can also envisage a process whereby the, the reporting responsibilities that all countries already have are intensified in terms of their depth and of their frequency. So I think that many of these issues can be addressed, but um, I, I am firmly convinced that many developing countries will reject the notion of an internationally binding target, and that then makes that notion difficult for the United States as well.